Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Let's talk about where the stock market is heading. Let's talk about for the rest of the week, the rest of the month, and the rest of the quarter, which of course is the rest of this year. Well, what do we need to watch? Well, let's take a look at some surprising things. Today in the market, the market was down just a, a smidge, 0.3%, nothing really. Um, but what was a big surprise is that the utility sector really has been getting smeared for the last month or so, and today really took it on the chin. This is XLU, which is the Select Spider Trust uh, utility ETF, basically. And down quite a bit today. I mean, look at this free fall. And it's a little bit of a mystery. Um, maybe there's some fear that they are not able to pass along inflation costs. Maybe there is some fear of the, um, you know, moving towards renewable energies, which could be a good thing or a bad thing for them. But maybe the fear is taking over there. Uh, but either way, from a technical standpoint, this is these are daily candles here. If we move out to a year on daily candles, we I mean, we busted through the key support uh, and there was more key support. Basically, yesterday was our last ditch effort to be able to hold that. If we go back and as you can see, we busted through all three major moving averages. If we go to the three year, we busted through all three major moving averages as of today, and there's not much support. There's a little bit of support here. And if we go out even further on the 10 year time horizon, we're through the 20 day and the 50 day moving average, not quite through the 200, but there's really not any major support here. Uh, we're getting into a little bit more volatility here, uh, but some of that is conducive with just the fact that stocks and ETFs move in percentages and compared to 10 years ago, we're at a much higher price, we see bigger nominal moves. Now, all that said, I just wanted to point this out. It's something that I looked at, but it's not really something I feel comfortable that uh, is a tradable opportunity right now because we don't have that support. We don't have anything to really anchor a trade off of. And until we do, it's just a little bit of a waiting game. Okay, so that said, the rest of this week, tomorrow we have uh, the weekly unemployment figure, which is gonna be important. But then after that, there's not much. And then next week, there's not really that much news either. But what is coming starting, starting next week and really ramping up the week after that is earnings. Earnings is going to be the major driver of the market for the next six weeks, maybe eight weeks going into retail earnings. So it's extremely important that we look at earnings and we take advantage of opportunities in earnings because that's what it's all about pretty much for the rest of the year. So that said, I am holding a very special training, an online training on trading earnings. And if you have not seen this training, it's really important that you get registered for it because this is what the rest of the year is all about, in my opinion. So right after I'm done talking here, there's going to be a web page where you can register for a complimentary webinar where I explain what I'm looking at and why and how it works and give you the opportunity to be able to trade our proprietary system. So just about to pop up, wait until the close. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart. Here it is.